Yes, sir. We back again. Another episode of R.A.O.P. It's your boy, Joe Ain't Got No Kids. <laughs> that's, that's your new alias? I think so. Yeah, that's better than the curse. I won't get demonetized <laughs> this time, man. It's your boy, I think I'm rolling with that. It's your boy, Ampavelli. I also don't have no kids. <laughs> this is another episode of R.A.O.P. Got some special guests in the building. Go let ahead and introduce yourself, Let the young brothers introduce themselves. Yeah, it's your boy Twin Trey. Call me Trey though. T R three Y. Yo, it's your boy uh, CT the guy. You feel me? C dot C dot the guy. But y'all call me CT. All right. For sure, for sure. So talk to us, fellas, man. How y'all doing today? Shit, I'm doing damn good. What about you, boss? I can't complain at all. Our guy, we sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't think I'm complaining. It's hot as hell outside. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I don't give a fuck about the heat. It's when it <laughs> get cold that I start bitching. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. No, I'd rather, I'd rather it be hot than cold, you feel me? Any day of the week. Yeah. You can do a lot more when it's hot outside than cold, shit. Yeah, like die of a heat stroke and shit like that. All right. <laughs> That's number this one. This nigga on went that. to the extreme. <laughs> yeah, bro. But yeah, Florida not really one of them cold-ass cities, though. You can't do shit in Florida when it's cold, shit. So. You ain't lying now. What you mean by that? Like, he's saying, like, ain't no snow activity. Oh, yeah, okay. Feel me? Like, ain't, shit, ain't shit do that here when it's, like, Cold, cold, like when shit. it's forty degrees, yeah, nigga inside. Yeah, bro. Are you talking about Florida? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Forty degrees, I ain't touching shit. <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina, I was up there. That bitch hit forty. The motherfuckers still like they outside in shorts. Yeah, it's yeah. hooping and shit. Like, I say, it's, nigga, no, that's like, crazy. Crazy yeah, hell, bro. <laughs> yeah, that one time I had went to Chicago. It was like forty, windy as fuck. Bro, that shit was tearing my like nah I'm out of here though. Bro, a jacket yeah. don't do it. I used to I used to go to work, have on full sweaters, motherfucking overcoat. You Damn. know what I'm saying? I, will, I I put on forty pounds. You know what I'm saying? For the yeah, forty yeah. degrees. <laughs> but now nah, that um that Chicago weather gonna tell y'all y'all south niggas up every time on bro. Ain't what? Like, that's where I'm from. I'm from Chicago. I started bro. to wear a damn uh, Joe Fresh Goods Chicago Welcomes you see <laughs> today. <laughs> I say no, man. I don't need that winter on my back. Oh, sure, <laughs> well, how is it in Chicago, bro? That shit, like, it's turning, but like, it's violent as fuck, bro. Like, I don't. I'm low key scared to go back to my own city, bro. Like, and I ain't even one of them type of niggas to downplay where I'm from, cause I love my city. My city is me, bro. But at the same time, I gotta quit with all like the violence and shit, bro. It's like little kids, like toddlers. Old ass people dying just like from gun violence and shit, bro. It don't even take all that. Bro. Yeah, I seen that shit yesterday. It was like a dude. It's like a mom. She had her son kill the dude. Yeah, four, fourteen year old, bro. Fourteen year old. Shot Damn, yes, bro. Nigga ran down on a nigga, bro. Like it's not. It shouldn't take. All the that, mom bro. had him do that. That's insane. Well, the dude. No, no, the dude had punched the mom. You feel oh, me? Got the mom. you, got you. Yeah, but yeah. But the mom kind of crashed out. She made her son shoot the dude, and then apparently they shot at a witness. Also, they were just, they went too far with it. Yeah, that shit. It's, it's, yeah, it's OD in Chicago, low key. So, and yeah. CT, where you from? I'm from uh, Georgia. What part? Douglas. Okay. Douglas. Okay. okay. Got some people from up that way. That's what Stan from, right? Yeah. Or uh, no. Uh, I want to say it is Douglas. Yeah. 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 It is. We Douglas. got we got a homie named Stan. He from Douglas. That's Coffee County, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. might shit. Y'all might be related. <laughs> <laughs> what the population? One hundred and fifty-two. <laughs> nah, that's, that's disrespectful. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> nah, that's disrespectful. <laughs> nah, he, he right there, but it's small. <laughs> Nah, I know it's small, but I I, I was being disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> so how long y'all been down here in the city? Shit, me, I just moved down here, but I've been like down here for like three years now. I've been know. in this bit for eleven years. Okay, how y'all two meet? Oh shit, through high school and shit. We was like at Fletcher. You feel me? I had first, <laughs> I had first came to Fletcher. Man, fuck Fletcher. But back to it. You feel me? <laughs> I had first came to Fletcher, right? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna come down the floor and be one of the hardest rappers. You feel me? Yeah. Then I meet this nigga. So when I meet this nigga, he just freestyling and shit like at the <laughs> in the fucking hallways and lunch rooms. So I'm like, okay, yeah, this nigga snap. You feel me? So yeah, we clicked up after that, bro. That's what's up. Yeah, I when we was uh. We had had tried saying like him at first. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this nigga hooper for real, bro. Yeah. Right, he cause he coming up. He's like, hey, what grade you in? I was like, I'm a senior. He's like, yeah, your shit done. I was like, I <laughs> That's what nigga. you told you out the gate. Yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah. I, was, I was like, I hate this nigga, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a real competitive ass nigga when it came to that basketball shit. Bro. I respect that 100. <laughs> percent Y'all still be hooping? 
Like against each other and shit. Yeah, yeah we, we, we had to chill out though, cause my nigga had hurt his ACL. For <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But yeah, I be I be winning most of the time. You feel me? I, I hope we get any, any one of y'all niggas in Jacksonville crash on y'all. Like what, a, they, what a, they what they say out here crash? You seen that go right outside there? Yeah, yeah, it is going out there now. I'm retired. You lucky? I would have been. Oh, we can, I'm saying we could bring somebody out here that might could hoop y'all boys. You up. see these posters on the wall? Hey, hey, man, you would have been framed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> framed and hanging. Hey, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm with whatever shit. <laughs> Back in my heyday, now you know what I'm saying. But nah, today, nigga retired. These knees, psh, they barely walk. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you, you from here? Uh, Pensacola, but yeah, I've been here long enough. You know what I'm saying? Home is where the heart is. True. You went um, you went to high school here? Yeah, I went Ooh. to we went to Wolfson. Oh, oh Wolfson. shit. Okay, I'm okay. from that Fletcher area, though. Like, um, I stayed out there for a while. Uh, nah, so I, fuck Fletcher. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I ain't go to Fletcher. <laughs> All right, you said that two times. What's your disdain for Fletcher? <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Um, basically, it's just like like a bunch of stuck up ass kids. You feel me? You know, like, <laughs> that's what, that's they fucking rich motherfuckers. Are. Yeah, yeah, using yeah. daddy's money and shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like a bunch of stuck up niggas, hating ass niggas, <laughs> hating ass niggas, bro. Think think you better than everybody else, niggas. Like I hate that fucking school. I transferred Sandalwood so quick. Like, bro, they, they, <laughs> shout out Sandalwood. They, they hate you doing good. You feel me? They they come say something to you. Oh, See, bro. when I was coming up, Fletcher had real bad race wars. It's, like, it's low key still like that. You I could it? I could only imagine like the white white kids think they black. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bro, like that's, that's something that I would have never even tolerated had I went to Fletcher. But um, I was already getting into too many fights and shit like that. I say nah. Let me go to the south side. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> let me head to Wolfson. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so, well, initially before the music, like what made you go, come from Chicago all the way down to Florida? Like what was the biggest like difference from Chicago and Florida? Oh shit. So um. Two things, you feel me? My parents had passed away. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, then like closest. that yeah. um COVID shit was bad in Chicago. Like nigga couldn't even step out the house for real. So like I heard y'all had a little bit better in the South. So I'm like, boy, I'm gonna come down here with my sister. Cause she was in the Navy and she was stationed down here. So I'm and really you like wasn't nobody gonna take care of me in Chicago for cause like everybody's struggling. You feel me? It's a struggle in Chicago. So I'm like, but I'm just coming down here and fuck it. You feel me? I feel that. I respect that. What <laughs> made you come down from Douglas down to Jacksonville? I had got in trouble with the, uh, I had caught a case with my cousin, and I had got in trouble, so it was like, in the cases, like, I had to go to school, and I, like, I could, like, come back to Georgia, so it was like, they told me on the uh, paper for me not to get charges, like, I had to be good, and I couldn't be around my cousins or none of that, and my mom was pissed off, like, before, I, but while we was going back to Jacksonville, she had uh, found out about it, and it was like, yeah, I got to stay at Jacksonville, and I, after I got in trouble. Damn. But like the case got beat because like uh, my cousin he, he had stood up for me so it was straight. But I was a minor though, you feel me? So right, was, right. Like, I was a little kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you so you kind of like Fresh Prince. Fresh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got Fresh in Prince of Douglas, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to just yeah you had to. Yeah, I respect that man. Yeah. So like y'all was, y'all was, y'all was hooping and shit. What made y'all like finally decide to get into music? Individual stories And then what made y'all decide Like damn We about to just be a group And do this shit together Cause you don't really see Too many groups in the, Especially anymore. today yeah Yeah groups kinda yeah. like Died down So the fact that y'all Doing it together Is like very different So Well it's like It started like When we was in the studio And I was recording a song And our twin was there with me And then he had, We had to pay for extra hours. He's like bro Let me get on the track I was like alright baby bet. I'm thinking he finna Come in there and play he come in there. We what, what's the song called? Uh, that bitch was called uh, Swerve. He hop on that track, on, bro. Straight energy. He get the snapping on that. Bitch. I'm looking. I'm like, yeah, yeah. We finna be so serious. That's when I knew it was like, yeah, we finna go to the top with this. Ain't ain't nobody snapping like this, bro. Um, bro Flo- Florida take over soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna we, see got, we got some big shit coming. Big bro. shit coming up. Like they go, they go remember the names. You feel me? That's what's up. That's what's up. What's some of y'all favorite groups? Like hip hop groups. Um. Fuck with the Migos, R.P. Takeoff, um, shit. Um, this is not really hip hop, but O.F. Lil Tyler, because like they do their own shit. You feel me? Like they unique. You feel me? They don't worry about like. Well, I would say they still hip hop. I would say they still hip hop. Yeah, like West Coast shit. I think that you know hip hop is, man, it's crazy. Hip hop itself today isn't what it originated as. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, not not in the essence of the word, right? But. Um, when I think about our future, it makes me think back to groups or artists like Humpty Dumpty, um, 
we had a lot of uh, uh, Grandmaster Flash. I wouldn't I wouldn't put him in that same uh, like uh, you know um, inspirational lineage kind of thing. Oh, just I get what because you're yeah, yeah yeah. So I think that our future is hip hop because they show the differences in our community. You know what I mean? They show yeah. how you know niggas can be different still. True. It is like multiple, like multiple forms of hip hop. Yeah, and multiple facets. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. Shit, like, hip hop could be you break dancing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Pop hell a yeah. Lock a little bit. <laughs> shit, like this is an art, bro. Like, you mm-hmm. know? yeah. So, but I, f- I fuck with uh, NWA and OTF. Okay. Yeah. Them, them niggas are hard. That's dope, bro. Especially, like, especially. That nigga say I like violence. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that shit just give me a rush. Ah. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> but nah, that's that's um, mostly what this fucking um, generation like listening to. You feel me? Yeah. I can make different type of music. Like I can make that like ah oh, shoot a nigga, kill a nigga, like all that bullshit. But like that should get played out the while. Like niggas get tired of seeing yeah, so. seeing niggas dying. You feel me? Hearing about niggas dying. Like that should get played out. Like damn, if I'm like watching my my brothers. You feel me? Like we all black at the end of the day. You feel me? We going through oppression already in America. We just dropping each other. That's what they. That's what the fuck they want us to do. You feel me? We got this bitch killing each other, bro. Preach. Yeah, we, we leave our cho- leave each other no choice to defend ourselves. You feel me? I'm straight bro. up, straight up. That's yeah, that's good you say that because it was it was a part in part in time. I feel like it's kind of dying down a little bit. Cause they doing like the quote unquote what it's called motion music. <laughs> so they doing that, but it was a part in part in like maybe like two years ago when like niggas in Jacksonville were just making nothing but yeah drill yeah, type like, drill music, violent music. I feel like I feel like the energy shifting over to something better like. A better type of sound, you feel me? Not yeah. just like Joe. Yeah, feel me? It's love. Well, well, I, I feel think, like that's what me and Twin bring it to the table, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, y'all music is definitely different. Um, and I think that artists like Nardo Wick having as much success as he has right now, you know, without having to focus on just being a um, like a drill artist or anything, yeah. I wouldn't even consider him that, you know what I mean? But um, I think that's helping to change the culture in the city as well, musically, so. Yeah. Yeah, like everybody coming out with different sounds now, cause at one point, everything just sounded the same. Yeah, everything sounded like it came from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, for real though, Duval, like we got some versatile ass artists. Again. Duval, Duval. Okay, okay, all right, at first I was. <laughs> <laughs> nah, y'all, y'all, not too much of me, y'all. I ain't from here, but you feel me? I was gonna give you a hard time, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's hella versatility. I don't know, bro. Um, shout out DJ Hariana. I just made that um, the mixtape volume four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm at the bottom. Like you feel, I'm the underdog, but shit, it's straight. Hey, shit, you, you on that bit? You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? That's yeah. what matters. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider it like that. Like nigga, you the last track, so that's that gonna pop out more. Yeah, that's if, what I'm saying. You gotta think about it, bro. That mixtape got like. 50 songs on that right, shit. So right. it's like, they just gonna look at the top, then they gonna look to the bottom, they gonna see your name, at the, it's gonna be at the bottom. Right. True, true, it's true. Like a last, it's like lost. a lasting effect. It's like, yeah, something to end off on. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. The last chapter. Okay, and then okay. you gotta think, if you in that one through 50, you get lost in the shuffle. You know what I'm saying? 36, 32, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Be, yeah, 50 <laughs> oh, yeah, song true. mixtape, nigga. You don't wanna be 28. Right. Yeah. Whoever 28, 28 probably got skipped. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to whoever Just off the strip Yeah Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to DJ Hariana so Yeah big shout out well, DJ I, know, I don't know if y'all can see On the other side of the camera But we got the creeper <laughs> Through the th- street set on there Y'all need to hop on that When y'all get a chance For sure for sure Yeah, yeah. Alright man yeah, shit. Um, shout, shout out Sadie too. Shout out Sadie Hendrix. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's one of DJ. So mm-hmm. yeah, shout out Sadie. Yeah, shout out Sadie. And shit, he helping to change the wave here in the city as well, doing big things. You know what I'm saying? So most definitely. Big shout out to him. Um, in the city, do y'all work with a lot of other local artists, or you know, what's your your networking like right now? Okay, so um, we we got some like big ass features coming up. You feel me? I don't want to say no names, you feel me? Because I don't know if they're comfortable with that shit. Okay. But, um, yeah, we work with, like, local artists. But, you feel me? Y'all, like, sometimes we put ourselves, like, to, like, a higher degree, you feel me? So, like, we don't really, like, work with everyone. But, right. like, we, we're we willing to work, you know? You feel me? You just got to have, like, the same, like, drive as us, you, you know? So is that you all type shit. We can't be working with no, like, we can't be uphill working with, like, no nigga downhill, you feel me? Because that's not going to do nothing for us, you feel me? That's right. some real shit. All right. 
I definitely feel that. Have y'all already started doing shows and things of that sort? Oh yeah, yeah we've been performing at um parties and shit. Um, like, uh, uh, Capo. Yeah, Josiah, Capo. Shout yeah, out Capo. Uh, shout out Josiah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, uh, Mr. Showtime. Mr. Showtime. Yeah, they be um we turn up the parties. Even though and shit. Showtime be acting green sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still shout out Showtime though. Blast. <laughs> Hey man, if a nigga acting green, hey, you gotta call know. it out. Yeah, <laughs> he, gonna, he, he gonna watch this shit like, damn, I do be acting green. Let me tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tighten that shit. Up. <laughs> but hell yeah, you just—that is one of my character traits. <laughs> <laughs> you go to one of them little parties, get like some bottles, pop that shit, get some ones. Nine and times they, they gonna remember you, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. They be like, ain't nobody performing doing that shit. You nah, me? that's some real shit, and that's what you want to do. You want to leave a lasting impression, definitely stand out. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it's about interacting with the crowd. You don't got no interaction with the crowd. That shit gonna be, yeah. bro. Like you do a backflip and that bitch. Anything, anything to make them remember you. If you can't just be like standing there expecting them to turn up to yeah, your yeah. shit. You yeah, yeah. real shit. Holding the cup, thank you, little Tyler and shit. Yeah, like you can't, you can't do that shit, bro. You gotta yeah. turn up. That's real. I know your big ass ain't doing no fucking backflips. On <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all can't see it on the camera. This nigga like six four. <laughs> Talking about doing a goddamn backflip. <laughs> this nigga jump out the building. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'll try that bitch on bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be done doing your ACL. <laughs> If I went to a show and seen this nigga doing a backflip, you got damn right I'm remembering his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit gonna be a long ass. <laughs> well, <laughs> what? Now, now it's some niggas like that. Um, it's some one TikTok ass nigga. I don't know his name. Like it's some real buff ass nigga. Jaleel. Jaleel. Yes, yeah, yes. Jaleel. That, that nigga. He, he, Jaleel. <laughs> that nigga does that yeah. shit, bro. He like six what? Six. Bro. That three? nigga is that nigga six. Th- he six something, two eighty five. That nigga big as a fucking freight truck. Doing yeah. flips and shit. Flips and shit. Dog, no, y'all seen his latest video? Oh, that's that Alexa. Yeah, that's my bad. Unplug that bit. <laughs> <I'm> sorry about that. <laughs> the nigga done stepped on Alexa. <laughs> um, Jaleel got a video of his latest performance where he pretending to be on crutches. Yeah. I thought that nigga really was fucked up. Yeah, cause that nigga jumped on that box and did a goddamn backflip. I say, oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah. So as far as shows and things like that, who who do you take from? Who are some of your inspirations as far as um, you know, learning the craft, how to in- engage with the audience, how to be energetic, things like that. Okay, so boom, we got like I name about like three of them bitches. So you got like um x that nigga had like hella crowd control you feel me i just yeah. be like watching you feel me watching him and like seeing how he control the crowd you got yachty because he turned like damn near every summer festival every role in life you feel me because mm-hmm. he's not not only is like he telling the crowd like what to do like he's actually engaging with them you feel me like if like if he throw up some water he'd be like y'all throw up some water too you yeah, feel me? yeah so like i watch them niggas you feel me be like how to like engage with the crowd like that's why i'd be like throwing ones and shit you feel me because you throw ones they gonna turn up you feel me right uh, for me, it's uh, I got two. It's uh, the first one, my ten out three hundred. Like when I'm rapping, it's like I take off the like my writing after him, cause like that nigga is a crazy ass lyricist. He be saying some some wild ass shit. That it, yeah. And then uh, my energy, I get that from like Vaughn. I, t- I try to take that from Vaughn, cause that nigga was turned yeah. every time he performed or did a uh, did a uh, video. That shit, that shit was entertaining to watch. You feel me? Yeah. Which one of y'all from Chicago? <laughs> 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 this nigga ain't named one Chicago <laughs> reference yet. <laughs> and he got nothing but <laughs> Nah, that's dope though. That's, that's dope, dope though. Dope, yeah. Um What was your best party or your best studio experience? And when mm. I say party, I mean like y'all performing, of course, you know. Uh, and you can even give us both. It's like, damn, we'd have turned up a couple parties, bro. Damn, um, any of them that, that stood one, out? That one when we first popped back out, uh, damn. When I when I had jumped into the crowd over there on all the time, we was performing with Jay Way and shit. Oh yeah, we was performing. Like, yeah, we just got back into it. Like we had took a little break and then we came back and the energy was still there. The people still loved us. You feel me? Yeah, yeah oh, that, that one was turned. That jump was crazy. And you say like, you was crowd surfing? Yeah. Like like we, we was performing. I was on the speakers at first and then it was my turn. They passed the mic to me. I was like, yeah, pussy nigga, mention me, don't put me in your ass. I jumped off the thing, I uh, jumped to the crowd. They get like, ah, <laughs> girls get the scratching on you and shit. I was like, yeah, and then that's when Twin came in that bitch. We got even more turn. It was yeah. going crazy. 
And then it was a, another one, uh, the one we just did most recently, where we threw the ones in the crowd. Oh, that yeah. It was hard. I had to say the best studio um, studio experience. We just recorded some shit, you feel me? That we got one of these local Florida artists getting on, you feel me? That it's like some like real live hot shit, you feel okay. me? So, yeah, yeah. Hot, hot shit was hard. Oh, I, ain't, I ain't had my first finish, but he went in there and he had his finish. So I'm like, damn, I don't, wanna, I don't want him to uh, book another session for me to come in this bitch. So while he rapping, I'm like, yeah, this nigga snapped. I'm feeding off his energy. So I'm in my, I'm in my phone. I'm mm, tapping, 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 right? Then I was like, matter of fact, I got some. Let me hop in that bitch. Boom, made a hit, on oh, bro. That's how it go, shit. A lot of niggas work better under pressure. Yeah, for sure. I, th- I think I'm one of the dudes that work better under pressure because like I'm more motivated type shit. Like, okay, True. it's pressure. Now I gotta get this shit done. The shit I done been there. I had booked a session in Atlanta once. Six hour ride, you know what I'm saying? A nigga had half of my first verse finished. Mm. I'm driving in the car like, boy, I don't know what I'm finna say in this booth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. About an hour out, I say, all right, I got it, you know what I mean? And ran through it, but it, it sometimes it's like that. And I think oftentimes you'll find you get some of your best verses, you get some of your better songs, choruses, things like that. When you are kind of crunched for time, you know what I mean? Especially from the sounds of you know how how serious you take your artistry and such um i think that being in the moment of things you can feed off energy and you can kind of focus you know on what you really really want to say in that moment the the beats starts talking to you and shit you know so yeah for sure like with trial luck too it was the same way we was in there doing back-to-back songs and it's like okay we need a hook for this one so i was like all right got y'all i step outside the studio and i go sit on a uh, the couch and it don't seem like five or ten minutes to come up with a decent hook. Oh, um, bro. That day recorded like six, seven songs. You, a- we didn't have like an album. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. he did. I did the same thing as him actually on Trial Luck. Um, we, we ain't hashing for Trial Luck, but the beat was hard as hell. So he ended up recording the hook. I stepped out, went on the couch, you feel me? Recorded my version. That shit, that shit was a hit, you feel me? There you go. All right, so if somebody that's watching it that never heard y'all music before, what songs would y'all suggest? Um, like uh, uh, released or unreleased? Uh, release. Release, 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 so that release. they can go and check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Release, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so boom for me, I say let's bop, shit, go up. You feel me? Uh, kill switch, shit, and Gogeta. Yep. And then the other two I say is. Like all them when ones he just said, but uh, DX and God versus everybody too. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into uh, Let's Bop. So that one's that one's the big. That's the big. That's you feel like that's the biggest song. Yeah, that's the biggest yeah. one right now. Biggest one. Oh, okay. How did that come about? And we're gonna play the video in a second and get like the reaction to so, it. So, um, being from Chicago, like we like it's a dancing ass city, like Jersey, a motherfucking like it's one of them dancing ass city. You be full working and shit. So me, um, I was um. Looking at the D-Lo Shuffle, y'all know what D-Lo Shuffle is? Nah, I ain't familiar. Oh shit, all right, boom. So my nigga D-Lo, he made a dance off Chicago. He's a Chicago artist. So I'm like, boom, I'm from Chicago. I love to dance, you feel me? So boom, let me make a dance song. So it just like, that shit just started flowing off my head. I'm like kick, dip, shake, dance, you feel me? Mm. So the shit just started flowing off my head, you feel me? And um, for the video, um, I actually got my dance team from the school, like Sandal with dance team. Shout out Sandal once more. You feel me? Um, got the dance team. The coach was cool as hell. You feel me? Um, I ain't even had to like slide no bread or shit. You feel me? Like she was just cool about the shit. That's what's up. Let's go. Let's get into the video. Let's pop. And I've got a couple questions for you after the video. <laughs> nah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it just break down the video or whatnot. I like the Lauren Hill song. Man. <laughs> Move over, Denzel. Hey, don't shake them moves to the drums now. Stop the vibes, everybody put the guns down. Turn up, let's get it, have fun now. What the bad things that it ain't none now. Pull up, we gon' dance to the sun down. Come on, let's get it, we ain't done now. Go and grab somebody that you love now. Let me see you come move to the front now. Get dip, shake, dance. If you can't do it, then clap your hands now. Keep dip, shake, dance. If you can't do it, then clap your hands now. Bounce. If you don't took in that side like curry, now bounce. Clock, sway gets sturdy. If you wanna gang this side like curry, gang them better shake, don't stop. In the party, go show how we rock. More turn than trade, cause you're not. Me and gang finna go to the top. Gang them better shake, don't stop. In the party, go show how we rock. More turn than trade, cause you're not. Me and gang finna go to the top. Don't shake them moves to the drums now. Stop the vibes, everybody put the guns down. Turn up, let's get it, have fun now. Where the bad things at, it ain't none now. Pull up, we gon' dance to the sundown. Come on, let's get it, we ain't done now. Go and grab somebody that you love now. Let me see it come move to the front now. Uh, who 
produce this? Um, it's um, look, it's like a little small studio, Love Kills. Yeah. It's a nigga named Dan, Daniel Garber. Shout out my nigga Dan. Best in the city, bro. Best in the city. Right. They, they don't even know about him, but like, she, he up there with like short fuse, smart was all them niggas, you feel me? But oh, somebody yeah. from Jacksonville that did. Yeah. yeah. That's they, dope, they, that's they, dope. they ain't fucking with him. That's what's up. Hey, yeah, yeah, for real. Nigga, his name put out there, that's for real. Because nah. to flip that song, that Lauren Hill song, make that to like an actual dance song. Bro, that's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's like insane. Yeah. <laughs> um, shout out to Kane, made it on the uh, Hell video yeah. too, man. Shout he, out to Kane, bro. He did his thing with that shit. You know what's crazy? I actually seen this video. <laughs> I seen this video a while ago. Like one of my homies, uh, Flash, he sent me the video. Like you know this nigga? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I do. But, right, right. But then I was like, no. <laughs> I looked at the video. I was like, this, this cool. But like, nah, I don't know this nigga. Yeah. It was just random as hell. And then like all of a sudden, like now niggas just interviewing me. Now, so that's that's pretty dope. But yeah, I had actually seen this video a while ago. That's so, funny. Yeah. So shit, y'all making some moves. Flash ain't in Florida, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. he in, he in Atlanta. So yeah. Oh shit, I'm actually going to Atlanta tomorrow. Shit. Well, I'm I'm leaving today, but I'm gonna be there tomorrow. All yeah. right. Y'all know um four Florida, shooters only. The nigga Flash, he owe me some money, so he, I, <laughs> oh, I need you to do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is not looking at shit. Though. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll talk after the show. Flash, I hope you come to Florida and fight this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah, God. four shooters only. Yeah, that's the one with the microphone. That's that's dope. That's mm-hmm. a dope look. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah, unreleased shit. You feel me? But yeah, we got big shit on the way. You feel me? From definitely, the look, bro, but yeah. Definitely shout y'all out when we get to the top. Shout out, yeah, sure. oh, bro. Definitely. Y'all, y'all some cool niggas, on bro. Appreciate that. Shit, we appreciate that. What I was about to say. Uh, what's some of the reception you've been getting from the song? Um. It's been like negative and positive, but negativity, negative. What the fuck? negativity yeah, I mean, gonna come with you being an artist. You feel me? Like, it's, yeah. it's but niggas what's some in, of the negativity you've been getting? Oh, niggas in the world star comments talking about um, kill yourself and shit. I'm like, damn, yeah. like yeah. them trolls. Oh, world them, star, world yeah, star, yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah them but, just um, trolls. Niggas yeah. talking about um, I want to be like Ice Spice and shit. But, I, but the truth be told, you feel me? I've been made this song. You feel me? It wasn't even called Let's Bop. It was the outro to my Christmas album. Did she make album. it before she blew up? I, I, I made this shit way before Ice Spice blew up. Niggas talking about I want to be like Ice Spice and shit. Just to clarify for y'all niggas, y'all dick riding ass niggas. You feel me? <laughs> niggas, um, and then niggas talking about um, I want to be like Jersey and shit. Like, no, bro. Like, I'm, I'm just making a turn up song, a dance song. You feel me? I ain't steal nobody flow. This shit, like, straight. Like, this is, like, organic. Right, this right. This shit that I made. You feel me? I'm not thinking about no CD, none of that, you feel me? If ain't nobody hate, then you ain't doing something right. Yeah, you feel me? If you got haters, you feel me? Then you doing something. Yeah. Bro. That's a good way to look at things, for sure. Yeah, I, I've been noticing that lately when we be putting our clips up for our podcast, we've been getting a lot more hate lately. I, <laughs> yeah, that's I, good. I, I, that's I like good. Yeah, that's I'm good, like, though, because the hate is it's still constant engagement. You feel me? I'm like, bro, it's too much positive. I feel like you're not doing good if it's positive, too much positive. Yeah. I think you need the negative. Like, all right, yeah, this is where we need to be at. <laughs> What's that? Uh, what's that meme? I strive off negativity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The dark. yeah that, that's what you need sometimes. Yeah, cause um, sometimes like that positive shit could like hype niggas head up. Cause it be some, I ain't gonna lie, it be some booty ass niggas, like some trash ass niggas. And like all I see is like fires in the yeah. comments. I'm like, that's they homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. that is they homies though. But you feel me? Like some, like some niggas need like a reality check. You feel me? Yeah, that's but, real. That's real. Duval promo posted it too. Yeah, yeah so it's oh. like everybody posting out. Everybody, there. world star, motherfucking um, rap monarch, shit. Uh, trying to think of some other promo pictures, but yeah, a lot of people posted it though. I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's love. Dope. Yeah, that's dope. That's love. Um, when who who came up with the video concept? Um, my motherfucking teacher. Yeah, shout out Miss Siles, bro. That's my fucking dog, bro. That's like, what's up. She cool as hell, yeah, bro. She, she don't got us out of a lot of trouble, too. Yeah, she got us out <laughs> hella trouble, bro. But yeah, um, so she was like, basically, since it's like um a dance song, you should basically like do like a big ass pool party and like a barbecue and shit. So I'm like, okay, we need to get a chance to put the barbecue in the video. But like, that shit was good. Hell, I mean, like, it looked bro. like y'all had a good turnout anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That bitch like. I wish you could run that day back, bro. Hell yeah, I'd, I'd do that shit a hundred times kinda, again, bro. I get kind of emotional about, in that, but. Ever thought about doing like a remix to it? Because I know some people that hit you up and be like, hey, let me get on that bit. Actually, we got, um, we have like a remix, but it's not really like a remix. 
Mm. It's like, I, like can I like email this shit to y'all? I emailed to like y'all after this um interview. Yeah, we airdrop it. But um, yeah, it's like we got we got uh, actually a big feature being on that shit. Like you feel me? It's another dance song. You feel me? I feel like that bitch gonna turn up the city, on um, bro. Cause niggas like niggas used to all that. You feel me? All that other shit. You feel me? If you coming out with like some dance shit, they gonna be like they gonna take heat to because it's different. You feel me? And you really don't see too many dance artists like out of Jacksonville. You know? Right. So you feel me? Just get on the scene with dance, you know. I feel that. Yeah, that's yeah, cause nobody, nobody down here like making dance music for real. Nah, yeah, not at all. You feel not me? at all. That's like some Jersey shit, you know. Some, you feel yeah, me? I mean, Miami, it, like it would be Southern Florida for us. You know what I yeah. mean? Like Tampa's known for dances. Miami's known for dances. Orlando had a run with the Chopper City Juke. Yeah, but Florida itself isn't really like a. You know, we have a, a dance movement kind of place. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Jersey is definitely one. Chicago is one. The whole footwork movement. Um, L.A. has, I mean, not L.A., but the West Coast has their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But I do think it's like very select cities. You know what I mean? When you think of dance, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially in urban communities. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not like everywhere you go, you finna find a big dance community there. Yeah. Atlanta doesn't even have a huge dance community. They known for creating a few dances and whatnot. Yeah. But I wouldn't say that Atlanta is a um, like a dance haven. You know what I mean? I would put Memphis before in Atlanta. Right. Yeah, for sure. So besides the homie you just shouted out that did the Let's Bop beat, is there any... Or let me rephrase that. How to exactly do y'all pick your productions besides that? Oh, so, um, shit. So, I, my producer is my engineer, the nigga Dan. Like, okay. so, that's what's up. Yeah, I mix and master with him. And, okay. like, he make beats and shit. So, that nigga, like, a jack of all trades. And he shoot music videos. That nigga hard, Damn. you feel me? So, um, yeah. Yeah, shout out, shout out my nigga Dan again, you feel me? Like, that nigga, nigga dope, um, bro. So you don't even need to go on on YouTube. You you got you you got your upset producer. Yeah, and it don't even, it don't even cost that much either. You feel me? But I I pay anything for the music, but right. but yeah. it still don't cost that much. You feel me? You yeah, that's cool ass nigga, bro. Same thing with you, CT. Yeah, for sure. Same. Okay. Yeah, same thing. All right. So what's some pros and cons being uh being in a group? Um. We kind of like combine fan bases. You feel me? If one person fuck with me, they fuck on him. You yeah. Feel me? And um, like we help each other, you feel me? Because around this time, like two years ago, even one year ago, we was not this like good as like artists, you feel me? Yeah. But like as we rap with each other, you feel me? And like you feel me, we make more music together. We get better as artists, mm. you feel me? So that's some of the pros to it. Yeah. The um, the cons ain't really this like this damn near my brother now so it's really no cons but i have to say sometimes sometimes we'd be having disagreements on like probably like music videos and like the way the beat should go like sometimes we'll see eye to eye but that's humans in general that's, right, right, that's right. normal that's something yeah. normal yeah yeah but we always like come together in the end to make some raw shit like, yeah. yeah yeah it's always a it's always a consensus you know right right yeah me and him we like brothers but he be getting on my nerves sometimes we gotta i'll be like let's give me <laughs> Let's go five minutes in the back room. Let's <laughs> slap boss it up real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's part of it. Long as like, long as like y'all, y'all, y'all mess up, but y'all gonna come out with a bang at the end. You feel yeah, me? yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, sir. Like it's part of the process. I think that's a great point, and I'm glad y'all even brought that up. You know what I mean for the listeners that's out there. So if y'all have anything that y'all are doing and you're trying to work with someone, sometimes you gotta be patient. Sometimes you gotta. Uh, build and create trust understanding things like that shit don't happen overnight but we see where it can take you know where it could take you so yeah i was when i was doing my investigation i had seen you was on dj small eyes yeah how was that um actually it's like the nigga funny as hell i ain't gonna lie i me personally since i'm tall as hell, i really can't take him serious because he's little as hell like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's asking these serious ass questions but like yeah, the nigga he cool as hell you feel me yeah i think <laughs> bro might be legit i met him a couple times i met him when he was like actually like a dj mm. before he was even doing interviews he was like a legit dj yeah that was just crazy that he doing he Dog, blew up off the interviews the the transformation is unbelievable i never would have thought it yeah but yeah, bro, legit like fire one, but it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, DJ, um, that interview is coming out soon. You feel me? They got like, you feel me? It's like editing and shit. All right. that. You feel me? It's coming out soon, though. But that's what's up. You have no. 
Yeah, so let me ask this for both of y'all. How long have y'all been rapping? Wanna, wanna go first? Uh, so I've been rapping so I could talk, but like I ain't take it serious to like high school. But like I knew I was I was meant for this rapping shit in middle school though, cause that's when I actually started like freestyling with niggas, out doing them niggas at the lunch table. Man, that's when I got CT and then CT to God through middle school and high school. I got it from my old manager because she said I can't just be CT. I got to have a little sauce on that bit too. Yeah. What? I ain't gonna lie. At first, I thought you said that's how you got CTE. I was like, damn, you was battle rapping niggas so <laughs> you got CTE. <laughs> but nah, that's dope, though. That's dope. And your, your manager definitely gave you some good advice. Yeah, for sure. But um, me, being from Chicago, like, I just grew up around music for real, for real. Like, it's like hella local artists. You feel me? And then, like, niggas, niggas got that crab mentality. You feel me? Like, niggas, it's you, like, Trying to get out the bucket, they'll pull you down and shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I've been rapping since like eighth grade. I was freestyling like in the hallway, lunchroom, classroom. If they making like them little pin tapping beats and shit, I ain't really started taking music serious till like my um eleventh grade. Yeah, that's when I dropped the Christmas album. You feel me? That actually had less bop on there, but I deleted the shit. You feel me? Gotcha. I, delete, I, I revamped the shit. You feel me? Because I'm like, I know this. Like, I know this shit got potential. You feel me? For sure. And then I really started turning up my senior year. You feel me? Like. Doing like we actually like on like a promotional tour right now, like we just doing like interviews and stuff. You gotcha. Know? So I'm like, yeah, boy, I'm gonna turn up my senior. Year. I just graduated and shit. So like, I'm a, I'm like, I'm gonna turn up my senior. Year, so that's what's up, man. So how old are y'all? I'm 18. I'm 19. Word, word. Hey, salute, man. Salute. For sure. Yeah, definitely taking the music serious, getting the interviews in. That's like the main. That's the biggest part. I feel to me. Some people are like you gotta get your stuff on promo page. I feel like get be doing the interviews, get your personality out there. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, nowadays people more fans of people fans of the aesthetic of an artist first, yeah. mm-hmm. and then they listen to the music. Of course, like ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's just that's how it is now. So yeah, I see a lot of people, even me sometimes. I'll watch somebody interview, and I'll be like, damn. You seem like a cool person. Let me check out the music. You seem like a decent human being. Yeah. <laughs> they have a nice little story. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, just yeah. how it is nowadays. And it's like so many platforms out there where you can just get your shit off. So yeah, for sure. That's dope. That's dope. Y'all doing y'all doing it right. So salute. And I think that it's it's good to go about it the way that you are because you actually build core fans. Yeah. And that's what you know. That's what people don't take into account in the early stages of pursuit, you know what I mean, to whatever level, um, your core fans are what really get you by. Yeah. If you got 100 niggas in jacks and every <clears throat> time you go to a party, it's 100 niggas coming with you, you know what I mean? You a hot commodity at that point. Right, so right. when it comes to promotional pages and things like that, they know your name going to bring people, they willing to post. Yeah. That's facts, though. Yeah. Besides the uh, people that you work with, what's some of the people in the city that you want to work with, just in case they watching? Um, I would love to work with Lil Papa, you feel me? I feel like that nigga different. Nigga versatile, you feel me? And I also want to work with Nardo, but you feel me? I know he'll be in the city like that, but yeah, i definitely yeah. work with Nardo. That's some, that's some good ones. CT? Uh, yeah, I, I say uh, Nardo Wick and then... Uh, Spinning bands and whopper with the chopper. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it ain't finna be biased. Uh, GMK, even though he locked up, he hard. Yeah. Yeah, I think Spin a lot though too. Yeah. He about to do a little. No, my bad. It's, it's K Shorty that's locked up. K Shorty and GMK, them niggas hard. Yeah, but when like, I don't think K Shorty coming home, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, them the niggas that I do a feature with at the city. I be getting them confused. I be I thought you were talking about uh, Soldier K. It's all these niggas' names the same. Yeah, yeah. Soldier K was just in here, so, so <laughs> I be getting all them. Yeah, K Shorty, nah. I don't think he coming home no time. He raw though. Yeah, like, he raw though. He definitely had it. But oh yeah, all right. and Young Nicks, Young Nicks hard. Oh yeah, shout out my nigga Young Nicks. Yeah, yeah. Young Nicks hard. Yeah. yeah. He a gamer now. <laughs> he, he gaming all the time. T, T Grizzly got him on that. Shit. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's where the bread at though. Y'all be gaming? 
I mean, I play the game. We were still like Call of Duty on, bro. Yo, bro we had fuck yeah, anybody. You. Jackson up, Jacksonville, Call of Duty. I come see y'all, bro. I'm I'm ass at Call of Duty, so I let y'all have it. Yeah. <laughs> but you was outside. He came here, Tom. So he gonna he fuck everybody up in the Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. bro, we don't lose in none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shit. I, this shit. I, I believe it when I see it. Shit, hey, man. undefeated on NBA Jam, man. NBA undefeated. Jam you know what I mean? All the reason he undefeated, I was, every time I play oh him. Oh, my God, he, bro. He cut the <laughs> no, shit off. he is lying. <laughs> he is I'm lying. lying. Bro, the yeah. last time the game got cut off. The last time the game got him. cut off. He was beating me by 10 points. It was like 13. I think was, this nigga be, came back. He was beating me by 13 points. He was talking all shit. I was like, all right, I got you. First qu- Next quarter, I, I, just went, I went on an insane run. I went on like a 20-something run on this nigga. Right. It was tied up. It was tied up. It was tied up. Tied up the fourth. Nigga turned the, the damn arcade No, off. bro. For one, we had an interview that like literally just walked in. Yeah. I didn't turn the game off. I accidentally hit the button trying to pause it. I hit the wrong button, and it sent us back to the main menu. So. No, that's <laughs> That sounds some bullshit to me. It wasn't no way well, to pick y'all it back think? up. What y'all think? <laughs> sounds some BS. Hey, look, I've been, like tellin', BS. I been telling <laughs> exactly. this nigga. I've been telling this nigga. Let's run it again. You know what I mean? And now he running from the smoke. So mm. damn, he got a point now. Hey, you, know, you see how shit happened? Yeah, it's it's all good. I will get this nigga, man. <laughs> But uh, the Call of Duty shit, yeah, I let y'all got that. that I can't. Them them uh, shooting games. I ain't good this shit. Man, my reflexes just ain't quick enough. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> nigga be smoking and shit, trying to damn keep up. I'm like, fuck no. I be turning around, thinking the motherfucker in the room with me and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm acting like the gun. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the, the controller finna shoot a nigga. You know what I mean? I need what you smoking. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> that coma pack. <laughs> Y'all be yeah. streaming and shit, or y'all just play play with each other? I was, tra- I was trying to get into streaming, but like it's like a lot. You feel me? Being a damn artist, you got like a bunch of events and interviews and motherfucking promotional shit to do. Yeah. Like, I'd be like just traveling a lot, so like I don't really got time to game. But I'll start like once I like blow up a little. Yeah, I'll, I'll that's start. the thing with T Grizzly. Like he dropped music, but like his his he done did all he can independently in yep. music. Nigga got hits and shit. He's like nigga, I just sit home and just play games all day. And he make a lot more money. So. Yeah, he make more. Yeah, at where y'all at? Like, yeah, you gotta probably put the groundwork in. You gotta like fully be in the music. But yeah, yeah, that that, that eventually like getting in the game and that, that'll get y'all name out there more too. Yeah, yeah. And I was just about to say, there's a way today that you could balance all of that. You know what I mean with Twitch and Kick and everything like that. Today you could take people on the road with you, show them your promotional, you know, events and things like that. They don't have to be, you know, involved in everything. But hell, you could stream, you know, ten minutes of the interviews and things like that. You know what I'm saying? If if the hosts are cool with it, and then um, as soon as you're done with that and you got 20 minutes to play the game, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Run through a quick look. It's a great promotional, uh, you know, little ticker to add. Yeah. Yeah. I might, I might look you consider that. You feel me? That don't sound like a bad idea. You know, God, because like last night, last night was turned. You feel me? Like, oh, if, imagine if we were streaming that bit last night while all four of us was playing. That shit would have been rough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, shit, today with social media, niggas is making reels off of just like 10 <laughs> second game clips of them, you That's know. A, yeah, shooting the shit with each young, other. Bro. Yeah, that should be funny as hell. Like, yeah, especially man. with the people we got. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. I was on TikTok. I had seen some, some nigga dancing to Let's Box. So, yeah. What? Yeah. You, you, you seen it? Nah, I don't be on TikTok like that. You don't that be shit, on TikTok? That, that shit cloud your mental one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's some hey, real shit. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. I only, the only time I go on TikTok is like, I got a homie that's addicted. He send me TikTok. I don't even look at them shits. Yeah. But I went, but we got a TikTok for our podcast. I like post on there and just log out. I don't really be looking at it. Yeah. But when I was doing research, I did, I put the less bop in and I seen like a couple like dance videos to it. People yeah. like doing reactions to it. Yeah, for sure. Like you most definitely need TikTok of promotion. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, yeah. Yeah. Tick, TikTok it's a huge like tool. it's it's like its own record label now. You feel me? Like niggas yeah. blowing up TikTok. Like, you shit. don't know what you're gonna get from that bit when you post on that. On um, bro, like you end up hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, three. You find a way like trickle your way through the algorithm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you just. You feel me? The crazy thing about TikTok is the algorithm is set up for you to find the most random videos. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's a genius. It's a genius uh, platform right now. You know for people to utilize. So yeah. 
Just promotion. I went. I went right. to sit on it and watch other people shit. Nah. Yeah, you know it's nah. crazy. The nigga that actually made TikTok said it was for niggas that don't have jobs. G said, <laughs> really? Yeah, the, that's the creator of TikTok. Nah, that's crazy. And now I see why the government going after them niggas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that makes sense. So what y'all working on right now as far as projects and song wise? Um, shit, we got um this other dance song like I was talking about. You feel me? Um, it's a nigga named Young Smiles. I don't know if you know him. You feel me? But he and Jax. Mm -hmm. I got him hopping on a dance song, you feel me? And yeah, we basically just trying to make a hit right now, you feel me? Make a hit because we got a bunch of like music in the catalog. All of them is like straight gas, you feel me? But ain't no point of putting out like, just keep putting out shit and like niggas ain't listening, you feel me? Like that's like you wasting like firepower, you feel me? Right, so right. we got we to gotta keep doing uh, like singles and then praying like one of them hit. Yeah, so we boom, we'll do a single, you feel me? Heavy promotion, you feel me? Cause we got this one big one with a uh, feature on it, like that. That'll probably put us over top. Yeah, yeah. Cause the, the the engagement for that one is gonna go. Yeah, like I can see it's it's a it's a big feature, like right. a big gotcha. ass feature. Y'all gonna be like, man, go ahead and give us a name. Yeah. Ample bleep it out. <laughs> nah, we will wait till we. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be a surprise. I might fuck around that. and forget to uh, take the shit. Yeah, out that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it when the camera's off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to hear. <laughs> Right, right. So you had any more questions? Nah, man. Hey, look, I think y'all have definitely gave us a great interview for sure, man. I'm excited sure. to hear more from you. Um, go ahead and let the people know where they can find you at. You know what I mean? Uh, give them some song references, things like that, man. Tell them where to go. Oh, so y'all can find me on Instagram, T-W-I-N underscore T-R-3-Y. You feel me? And then I'm on everything. So you can search me up on Google. Spotify, motherfucking <laughs> Apple Music, SoundCloud, Pandora. I'm, I mean, like, that's for old niggas. You feel me? Shit, but, <laughs> yeah, um, it is. Shit, I'm on everything. YouTube, uh, you should find me anywhere, shit. All right. Uh, I'm, you can find me on Instagram at uh, C-T the God, C dot T dot the God. And then uh, check out the videos that we got out right now. We got Let's Bob. We got Go Up that me and him did together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then we got DX that we did together too. And then God versus everybody. Yeah, that Go Up is a good video too, man. I was surprised to see like the consistency throughout. I was like, okay, these niggas ain't playing. Yeah, for sure. The, yeah, the, 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 uh, the song that we got uh, with that uh, feature, we ain't talking about that song go even harder. Like, <laughs> y'all <bro>, like, <laughs> ain't seen nothing yet, on, bro. We just getting started. That's a bet. That's dope, though. Hey, man, I'm, I'm a fan of y'all niggas. Yeah, for sure, for I sure. I y'all heavy, man. And then, yeah, shit. Shout out all AP, man. These niggas dope. Yeah, I fuck with them, bro. So we appreciate it. Yeah, so shout out to all. Yeah, man. All right, we're going to cut the cameras off. We're going we're gonna to talk about that feature. <laughs> and we're going to talk about uh, him getting flashed when you go to Atlanta. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Y'all stay easy and stay turned. Hey, all man. Right. This has been another episode Random Max of Podcast, R.E.O.P. With all that said, we out.